In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a digital whiteboard video. So let's check it out. Hey, I'm Matt from OnlineBusinessTech.com and digital whiteboard video is when you record yourself drawing on your screen. Now, you do need some special equipment in order to do this and I'm gonna tell you exactly how to set it up, how to record and how to you know, actually write on screen. So one of the most important things you're gonna need is a writing tablet. So this is a, this is called the Bamboo Tablet. It's made by Wacom. This one is the CL460, which has been discontinued, but they've replaced it with the Wacom Intuos Pen Small Tablet. There's a few different sizes. The model number is the CTL480. And if you're interested in checking that out, I'll have links in the description below. But um, the reason why I recommend this, I was actually thinking, you know, we have smartphones and tablets, like regular, you know, tablets, like an iPad. So why can't we figure out a way to record ourselves drawing on that kind of screen? And I actually tried it out. So I tried a few different apps. The first one was called Remote Mouse. And what that let me do was use my phone as a mouse. So it just had a blank screen on the phone and when I moved my finger around, it was actually controlling the mouse on my computer. So I could actually use it to record myself drawing on screen in the computer. Uh, the thing I didn't like about that is it was kind of cumbersome. It, I just didn't have the level of precision that I have when using an actual drawing tablet. Um, the other app that I tried was called Team Viewer Quick Support. And what that basically is, is a screen sharing app that let me share the screen of my tablet with my computer and then I could record the screen on the computer. And the problem with that was the frame rate was really low and the quality was low. So it just wasn't acceptable um, material to use in a video. I still recommend checking it out if that's something that's interesting to you. Um, I know the Samsung Note comes with a stylus that lets you uh, write on screen of your phone or your tablet and it has a recording app built in. So that might be able to do it. I don't have one of those phones so I wasn't able to try that out. So I definitely try it out if you do already have something like that but you're, you're probably gonna have the same results I did and you'll, you'll see why it's really nice to have an actual writing tablet like this. So as far as writing tablets go, um, some of the features that make them really great for this type of thing is it comes with a special pen. It has a couple buttons on it that you know you can assign to certain actions, but it'll take control of your mouse. And the thing that's neat is when you hover over the surface of the tablet, it, it recognizes where the pen is and lets you move the mouse around. Now when you actually touch the surface of the tablet, that's when it'll act as a left click of the mouse and write on the surface. So I can actually, you know, spell out my name um, or, you know, draw whatever I want. It definitely takes a lot to get used to, but uh, one of the secrets is making sure that your settings are configured properly. So what you wanna do is open up your control panel if you're using Windows and look for Wacom preferences. So here are the settings and you're gonna to go to the pen tab and this is the important part right here, pen mode versus mouse mode. I always used to think, I used to have it set on mouse mode all the time because I just felt like because I have dual monitors, mouse mode will give me more flexibility. So basically when you have mouse mode enabled, I'm gonna turn that on, basically it doesn't matter where um, there's no direct relationship between the surface of the tablet and your screen. So you can keep sliding the cursor around when you're in mouse mode. But the problem with that is I've noticed that it, it just seems a little more jittery. And I think it has something to do with the acceleration that's built in. So I highly recommend going to pen mode and when you and make sure the mapping is mapped out to a, an area that has a similar aspect ratio to the to the actual pad on your writing tablet itself. Okay, so once you have that set up, you're, you're pretty much good to go. And all you need to do is open up any type of drawing program. I recommend using Autodesk Sketchbook. It's 
You can download it for free. It's a really great program because it's designed specifically for using uh, drawing tablets like this. So you can choose different brushes, you can change the properties. It's just a really great looking program to use the, uh, the whiteboard effect for. So once you have your drawing program opened and your tablet configured, the next thing you'll need to do is open a screen recording program. I like to use Camtasia, but there are some other ones which I'll link to below that are free, including Tiny Take and Jing. And the most important thing that you need to do in any recording software that you use, you wanna make sure you're recording at the proper screen size. So I like to use 720 because it allows me to clip the canvas um, so you only see the white part of the screen in the drawing program. And what that does is once you bring it into your editing software, you don't see any of the tools that are in the drawing program. So most likely you're gonna record at 1280 by 720 and that'll give you a good size, a good quality, um, but it'll allow you to clip out all of the, um, the tools that you see in the drawing program. Now there's a few different ways to approach how you record your digital whiteboard. You don't have to, don't feel like you have to record the screen while recording the audio at the same time. You can, you know, record the narration first and then record yourself drawing on the screen and then you can speed it up and slow it down in your editing software. You can cut out your mistakes, you can cut out dead space, things like that. All right, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel to get more tutorials on online business tech.